Hello everybody, welcome back to another week of Sandbox, a little sooner this time, playing early in the week. Uh, my opponent this week is Wakeman, who I did not play a ton in the Gen 8 heyday. Um, I'm pretty excited for this match, uh, probably one of the ones I've been most looking forward to this whole season when we got the schedules. Um, I don't know if my plan today is good, but I'm kind of counting on some... I'm hoping I have some counter prep that catches him. Okay, this is actually really good for me um, because that means Dragonite looks really insane here. Um, yeah, Dragonite kind of goes in. Um, I don't know if Dragonite goes into the point where I want to bring it in the lead. Um, well, in DD Slurpuff with our lead, I'm going to go Blacephalon and D Knight. So the trick with this D-Knight is it's actually a special D-Knight. So if I can keep Slurpuff alive, I can get Fake Tears off and get like big hits off um, and set um, basically set myself up for a lot of success there. Um, so uh, good luck and have fun to Wakeman. Um, it seems like we both came in with a game plan, so let's see what each other's is here. Cinderace small while. Okay. Perfectly fine. Um, we led with our special our special attackers. Okay, we're gonna charm Cinderace. I think we're gonna charm Cinderace and protect the Um and DD this turn. Um, we're just going to protect. I haven't been running Protect in DD. I'm kind of hoping to bait a Max Darkness, and then I'm going to Charm. We do outspeed pretty handily here with the Slurpuff. Um, we might... We're, our goal here is actually to stall Max so that D-Knight can come in later and do a lot. Okay, so he's G-Max and race, so he didn't give himself Feather Control here. Oh, with the Sun. Which is good to know. I was worried about boosted Pyro Ball into my team. Okay. Getting a beautiful attack drop there. Okay. Alright, he changed himself into a Dark type. Totally fine. We're gonna string shot Dazzling Gleam next turn. Okay. Slurpuff should eat one, yeah. Okay, missed Cinderace. That's kind of bad, actually. Uh, yeah, because we were trying to get the Dazzling Gleam off before it changed typing. I think this is okay, though. Slurpuff just dies here, which is fine. I'm okay with Slurpuff going down. Um, not getting the speed drop does suck, though, on the Cinderace, because that was one of our primary goals here. It's... that's fine. Okay, Assurance comes out. That probably kills. Okay. Honestly, not as good a spot as I'd like to be in. I feel like I got a little screwed there by some RNG, but we can make this work. Okay. 
Alright, Dragonite, you're going to max this turn and we're going to start clicking the buttons, okay, my man? Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with an Airstream into Cinderace. And then Blacephalon, you're just going to protect because that's what I need you to do right here. Okay. Hippowdon comes out. That's okay. He'll break my Sash, but it doesn't really matter on Blacephalon. We're just trying to get Blacephalon to have some speed here. Minus two, I think, will live since we protected. Okay, good. Okay. Got a speed boost, which is what we wanted. Now, what we're going to do here is max Wormwind into Cinderace. Honestly, I think we Raw Dog Hypnosis. I think that's my best play. Okay, Ace, Ace switches out into what? Okay, so he does predict the... That's a good predict on his end. I should have geysered into Hippo. We'll see how this play works out. Okay. Overall neutral turn. Um, not really favoring me, but, you know, we take it. All right, D Knight. Um, I don't know if Geyser is a good play here or not. We do need this thing dead. Uh, I don't know. Mawile's kind of a threat. We can max flare it. That's fine. And then we can just go for Heat Wave, or we can just go for a raw Shadow Ball for more damage. I think we'll Shadow Ball here. Good chunk. We got the spadef drop. That's actually nice. Okay, we got a kill on Mawile here. We changed the weather to the sun as well, which is going to boost Blacephalon further. Another turn of sleep would be really nice here. He, he wakes up, though. High horsepower. Okay, he does get the kill on Blaceph, but... I think we're okay, though. Potentially. Cinderace comes out. Okay, we do... We did set Sun, so Hurricane's pretty unreliable here. Okay, we just kind of ignore Hippowdon right now, I think. Um... Draco. Okay. See how much we take from this.
Not quite a KO. Okay. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, okay. We'll go ahead and Draco again. I don't want to reveal anything else in the Draco's ult here. We'll also find out if we're faster at plus one than this Draco's ult. That's actually good for me. He doesn't know that, though. Okay, we're not faster than Drake is at the plus one, so he is sans so he's sandstream on this. Okay. Alright. Good game one. Got some good info. Um That strength shot miss I feel like would have put that Cinderace into a really good range for me, but it's okay. Um okay. Based on the moveset, I am starting to like the look of Volibee, potentially. So the question here is, if I had switched into Glastrier at that point last game, would my odds be better? <laughs> I'm leaning no. Slurpuff and Didi felt really good, but I'm leaning towards that maybe being a back option this game. Um, what if I lead... Volibee. I like Volibee lead. Do I lead it with D Knight or do I lead it with Glastrier? Um. Let's lead it with Glass, with Indeedy Slur Puff in the back. Cinderace Hippo? Okay. I think we're decently comfortable with this. This is fine, actually. Now he's probably gonna pyro into Glastrier. He might not, he might be afraid to. Um, should live one. We can just try to go for Hailstorm into Hippo. If I'm him, I switch into Mawile here though. Um, I switch into Mawile and I go for the pyro on Glastrier. So I think I'm gonna protect Glastrier and just Tailwind, set up the Tailwind. Yeah. Let's see if I called it. He may Steel Spike as well. I think that's a good play. In which case, we're probably using Max and Didi this game. Okay, Steel Spike comes out, presumably into Glassphere. That will proc our policy, which is nice. Okay, he goes for Volaby, which eats it like a champion. Okay, so he's targeting around the Glastrier right now. Okay. 
Okay, Glastrier. I don't know if I want to max Glastrier here. I kind of don't want to. I don't know if a hard switch into Indeedee is a good idea, though, because it's my best offensive answer that isn't Glastrier. I don't know if Slurpuff is doing me a hell of a lot. Hmm, this is kind of a tough call. Um... You know, even just getting a max darkness off into the Cinderace might be worth our while. Let's do it. This might be a throw play, we'll see. Because he knows that I don't outspeed like a Cinderace, even with Tailwind. I have a, I have a nice horse right now. But Ice Horse should eat a hit like any kind of neutral hit. So... Okay, Helping Hand comes out. This might be bad, actually. Okay, he goes for the GMAX Fireball. Okay, let's see if we... We probably just die. We probably got with this. We live on 8 HP. Policy comes off. Okay. is going to die to chip. That's fine. Okay, based on foul play damage... Okay, and DD should outspeed here. I don't know if we bring it out immediately. I guess we do. We do outspeed it, and we can just go expanding force here. I don't... Hmm. Let's fake Tears Mawile, because we're kind of banking on getting a good... I don't know if I don't know if he's in range to Eve. Well, he's at minus one spit F. He should be in range. This is modest max special attack. Beautiful. I guess I should have foul played to kill Mawile. Okay, play rough into Volibi is actually kind of perfect. I sort of wish that had killed. Okay. Hippo comes out. Okay. Not the mana I was expecting, uh, but I think that's okay. Um, make tier Z Force. Pretty simple play. I maybe should have protected fake tears here. We'll see. Because we don't Oko Hippo with E Force. This might have been a throw. Okay, this is fine. My wild dies. Presumably Drake's ult comes out. Okay. 
Okay. So here's what we do. Fake tears. Actually, we might want a Tailwind. I don't know if Tailwind might be the right play. Shit. I think it's... No, it's fake tears, because we're kind of banking on this Drake Result actually being slower than Slurpuff. So we fake tears into this, and we just protect once. Okay. Okay, that kills Volibee. Okay, Hippo High Horse Powers. Definitely the correct play. Sandstorm's gone. That's actually huge for us. Okay, we need to make a call here. Um... Okay, we are still outsped by Dracozolt, so we died a Bolt Beak. Wait, are we outsped by Dracozolt here? We're probably outsped by Dracozolt, so we probably died a Bolt Beak. Um, well, Bolt Beak only gets that if it moves first. The play might be... It's kind of tough. I think... He faked tears and just a raw expanding force. Okay, he rock slides. Indeed, he dodges. That's beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. Is he locked into rock slide? Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> Dude, indeed he's so good. Okay. Good game, too. Um, very happy with my adjustments um, that game. So, on to game three. Okay. Indeed, Slurpuff in the back was really good. I liked Volibee. I think we we switch Glastrier, though, for D-Knight, because I think D-Knight's just strictly better um, for what we were going for. So... All right, let's see what he goes for this time. Hippo Draco. Okay. So this time he leads with them. We have multi-scale AV, so we do live a hit. I don't know if Dracozult is going to switch out here or not. Um... Okay, we just Tailwind. Uh, definitely maxing. I kind of want to just max Geyser into Hippo here and just set tempo with the weather. Actually, I like Airstream into Hippo a lot. Yeah, we'll Airstream into Hippo. Get the speed advantage. Um, well, I guess we won't get this. It doesn't matter. Um, well, I guess it does, but okay. Switching out Hippo into Meow Stick. Okay. Well, it's eating an airstream, and I know it's not Sash, so that seems good to me. Okay, he bolt beaks. Bolt beak, come on. Okay, Volbeak does not eat a bolt beak. Fun fact, we just learned. I still think we're okay. Okay, 
The Unite gets plus one speed. Okay, thinking about the Pokemon to go here. I think it's Indeedee and then a hard switch into Slurpuff. He's also presumably locked into Bolt Beak based on last game's Rock Slide. So we can presumably just protect Indeedee here. And um, I don't know if he has the uh, other Pokemon, but we can probably just Warm Wind. We'll see if he has me. Well, well this will confirm whether he has Mawile or not. He sets the light screen. Good play. Especially into my team. Okay. Bolt Beaks into Dragonite does way too much. But we might kill in return. Okay. That's a big threat out of the way. Hippo comes out. I like switching to Slurpuff here, just to get it activated. Um, and I like Wormwind into Meow Stick, I think. Just to lower Hippowdon's output. Especially if he goes for like an E-Force here. Cinderace comes out last. Now he has not maxed yet, so he does have a max advantage here. Um, I really like Charm into Cinderace. Um, to lower the output. It's either Charm or it's String Shot. And I'm leaning Charm is the, as being the correct option. Uh, as for you, you're going to go for Broke. Um, I don't think Hippowdon really threatens Ndidi with very much damage, so I'm gonna, I want to Draco here. Get a Charm off. Get a Draco off. That is some damage, not a lot. Skill Spike comes out into presumably Slurpuff, which is fine. Okay, Slurpuff barely lives. Rock Slide. Okay, miss on Slurpuff there is fucking huge. Because that lets me String Shot next turn. Yeah, that's unbelievably huge. Which will let Ndidi outspeed. Um, string Shot into both. 
protect. Okay, Hippo protects, which is fine. Or Puff dies. I don't know if the better play here is to go for double protect or if it is to simply go for broke here. I think it's go for the double. Because E-Force, I don't think, just straight kills here. His, his Cinderace is too much special bulk, and he still has Light Screen. Or I guess he doesn't still have Light Screen. Okay, well, wait, hold on. Does he? Yeah, he still has Eternal Light Screen if he's not the other thing. So I think we just have to go for Double Protect. We were kind of trying to bank the game on a 50-50. Failed. Damn. We might live the turn. I don't know. Double E Force there. E Force feels like a bad play there. Okay. Weirdness. Oh, the weirdness. Just, my psychic terrain wore out. That was dumb of me. Okay. It doesn't matter. That's GG's. Good games to Wakeman. Uh, that was a really close set. Very down to the wire. Um, I'm overall pretty happy with how I played it. Um,. He's just going to sucker punch here. Um, but I think I think he prepped and played that really nicely. Um, good games, though. Um, there were, there was a lot of fun and definitely close. All right. Well, um, two losses in a row, but I'm actually I, I don't feel nearly as bad about this loss as my uh, one last week. So I'm feeling I'm still feeling on the up and up. I definitely need to secure another win for the season. Um, but that'll be all for me this week. All right. GG's and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.